This is a full character guide rigging series. This is not the part 1 video. If you have not watched the previous parts, please check this video description. So our character is ready for rigging. Let's right click here and press that convert to bone. Alright, so now get that add bone tool. And now you will have to divide this two into two like the hip part as well as the we can say the upper torso or the chest part. So maybe from let's say yeah here to here I will create a bone and because we need that hip bend so there to here I'll create one more maybe until right here or maybe you could keep it here no need to, it to be straight follow the body's design and keep it right there. And now for the neck so and for the head so here to here that will be fine and for the head there till maybe here this can be even very small because we are going to do that layer binding yeah but i'm just going to leave it right there now let's create the for the hands but keep in mind right now you have to deselect this and select this bone so alt left click to select it because when the shoulder moves we need it to move with this that means if this moves we need the shoulder to move with this so now here it's going to be a little bit difficult to imagine but maybe fix it later but for now think of this alone right and maybe you can click drag right there and up to here and this is the exact part where you will need to zoom in so zooming in zooming in because remember this point also i'm going to pull this down a lot I'm going to click there and click drag all the way here and let it go. Now for the hand you can click and leave it here because here we are going to do layer binding so this one size doesn't matter. But I'm making lot bigger just because I want it to be more visible that's all and click drag it like that. Now remember or alt left click on this again and here to just imagine where would that be think of that rotation where should that rotation start maybe let's say here and then click drag it all the way here and then you're supposed to zoom in a lot and then from there till here and zoom in and click drag and keep it straight maybe just like that wherever my hand is pointing now let's create that select that hip bone alt left click and then you have to do one more thing for the leg but that's now i remembered we didn't do one thing for the leg we will have to do it now because it's going to create a big mess so let me just show it to you what that mess is now i'm just going to delete all of this okay make sure you don't save this file all of this is selected and now let's say you're going to rotate the hip and look at that this part is nicely visible so as this part so to do this we will have to use moho itself so i have selected that correct layer and i will have to add one more point with the add point tool and then with that transform bone tool just drag it and see how it goes and while it's at the top almost like that now i will get that curvature tool and then click drag click drag like this to create it give it a circular look just like that would be fine now let's do the same thing on the other side get that add board Add, add point tool and add one point here and get that select transform i mean transform point tool and then so i'm just going to pull it up almost there and curvature tool and then click drag if the curves doesn't show it to you remember enable that and now you can click drag like that and i think on this side i'll use the handle okay that's much better but you can always fix it anytime even after you have completed the rig while you're on frame zero and now while that hip bone is selected you will have to click drag downwards like that but before that one more thing we will have to hide that the body layer so we can see the legs right so i'm just going to hide that body layer and these two doesn't seems to be the same height that's a problem so i will quickly fix it so just pulling it a little bit down and i like it now going back to that add bond tool and now i know from think of it like a circle if it's a circle you have to find the center of the circle maybe from here and then click drag just like that to here now while you are doing this i highly recommend one thing that let me show you so if if i do something like this and like this if i create okay for some reason we can't clearly see that bone see it's there but okay now it's visible see now the problem is now let's say you want to if you select a target bone here 
or a handle from here and then if you let's say you want to do this then the leg will you know work like this let's say if this is the human right this is the t-shirt and the legs would go like that it will not work the way how you want okay because here we have redirected it on a different direction but if you do it correctly then if you pull this up then what up what happens is the legs will fold naturally like this if not it is going to get folded like this because here we have look at that fold see we have added a little bit of extra fold there and that's going to break it so make sure that you fold it in the opposite direction in the correct natural position natural way that that's the side so fix this now itself so i'm just going to undo and start to do the same thing again and i'm purposefully not keeping it here but little bit to that side a tiny bit is enough for it to detect it so i'm good with it now i can just click drag and this one also i'm not going to do that instead i'm going to do somewhere here maybe somewhere there and one more thing before i add that bone i'm just going to select this leg layer and reduce that opacity as well and i'm going to reduce the opacity for the other one as well now going back to that main layer and with that add bond tool it's a lot more easy to decide where i should leave this it is right here so now i'm just going to select that hip bone again and let's start from here and then click drag and remember that position that angle should be in the correct angle if not it's, it's going to create a huge mess yeah that's fine now for the shoe you can do two things one is you can click drag like this and like this and you can control the front part of the shoe all of this the toes you can control but those are more advanced things for now no need for now you just need to study only basic character animation so no need to do that so in this case you can click drag the whole thing like that that would do the trick too this is fine and i'm just going to also select that correct bone layer and from there to here i'm just going to click drag like that these are not matching but don't worry because we are going to do layer binding for this and one more awesome trick i should tell you that let's say you want to reduce the opacity of all of these layers let's say from there all the way here while everything is selected if you let's say double click on this and now when you reduce that opacity it's going to reduce for only for that layer so that's not good what if we want to you know do that opacity for only for the all the i mean for all the layers to do this you have to just start from there select everything and can you see that three lines press on that and now try to reduce it so now you can't see it live but let's say 25 and then press ok you will be able to see that it's getting applied to all the layers i'm just going to put it back to 100 without forgetting and another way you can you can do that another way you can do that is just double click here and move this to this side and now make sure shift click on the last layer and now see just click drag this and let's say 70 and now press ok and it got applied to all so different ways on how you can do that so there are more bones to be added i will add it later but now let's do the binding process first of all i start with this while the main layer is selected you get that select bone tool no need to get that because we need to first select that face right select that face now you get this bind layer okay look at that bone icon so get that bind layer and click on the bone to bind with now alt right click on the layer the hair and click on that as well now so as the eyes everything so select them and click here select click select click select click or you can just create a group and do the binding for the entire group but i'm just doing this it this way i will worry about the groups later and select everything on the head and bind it to this now select the neck and bind bind it to the neck layer select the body and don't bind it to this because we are going to do point binding for the body now we are also going to do point binding for the hand for the other hand too and remember for the shoe as well point binding for the other shoe as well i mean not point binding it is layer binding layer binding for this for this for this also layer binding for this also layer binding and everything else is going to be the point binding now most important thing select all the bones and go to that bone strength and put it to all the way zero i don't need any bone strength it's going to create a huge mess and now just testing i know still we are not done but let's do that testing so this should work this should work this will not work right because we didn't bind it 
so as this will not work but the shoe will work and now here nothing here won't work i mean the body won't work yeah the whole thing here works perfect and the neck should work really cool now while you are done with all your bind layer techniques let's go for the point binding for the point binding you will have to make sure there is enough of points for them to get rotated correctly now let's go ahead and see to animate the hand so as you can see even for the shoulder we need that layer binding so let's select that and let's get at that shoulder binding so just like that and for this side as well let it have the shoulder binding and for this only we need the point binding so now to bind the points when you get that tool see there is only like few points here right that there are only two here therefore now if you just try to do it it's not going to work so let's get get that add point tool and let's make sure i'm adding one more point here just like that one point there another point here so on the opposite direction as well one point there another point here this will help us to bind it properly and you just have to make sure to select all the points that you are going to bind like this and remember to bind it to the correct layer so while that layer bone is selected let's go ahead and do this one more time and then press bind points now i'm just going to do the same thing for the other part as well yeah making sure all those points are selected and then press bind points and all of this should be yellow the one at the top should be pink yeah now it's done and now let's confirm it by going to frame 18 and let's select that and let's do like this okay see how it works but it breaks too but don't worry we can fix it but it just works so this one working nice this one is working too nice now you could have fixed this a bit more by adding more points but i wouldn't recommend you to do that okay because your works get a lot more harder so i have got that add point tool again so i'll make sure that i add one point there another point here and this side to one point there another point here so first you will have to select that bone first and then lasso it while the lasso mode is enabled this is the one and now press that bind points first select that bone don't forget if you don't select that you will have to do it one more time so just making sure going around and pressing that bind points so we need some supporting points here as well so remember you're just going to do the same thing here so let's just do this and see if it will look good other side as well i'm just going to add some points and one more time get that bind point tool and select the bone first and select all the points for second right for not first second first select the bone and then go around and press bind points and select the bone first and then go around and now press bind points so select the bone first lasso it just like this and i have selected a wrong point so i'm just going to redo the whole thing and i'm just going to press bind points now for everything at the bottom here i'm just going to press bind points now almost everything is done let's go and see if everything works properly and that's usual this is usual don't worry about it we'll fix it but this is really cool now as you can see i can do this do that but here you might have to fix it with action this part but we don't have to move the leg that much if you want to do it like this then you will have to really do it with actions yeah one more thing that is left the hip so so already i'm noticing one point there so i'll add one more here so two there and here as well another two that's fine now you can do that binding so selecting everything at the top and pressing bind points and just going to select everything at the bottom and pressing bind points again going to confirm if this will work properly yeah we can fix it no worries this too yeah this is the one that this is the bone that we are going to use to carry the whole thing so for an example you can click drag here and then you can carry the whole thing how cool is that if you have not liked this video please spend few seconds and subscribe to the channel as well to watch the next video click here and once again don't forget to subscribe Thank you.